Bryant City Media offseason starts now. I'm with Tyus Jones. Tyus, when you look back on everything that this team accomplished this season, you know, I mean, obviously, Executive of the Year, Zach Klein and Taylor Jenkins, runner for Coach of the Year. Three different players in six man, three different players in most improved. Ja, Jaron, and what you've been able to do, man, in terms of another record setting year, assist to turnover ratio. Uh, when you encapsulate all of that, what is your takeaway from this season? Um, great season overall. I think just so many positives. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the main thing you got to focus on. Um, obviously, the main goal of, of bringing the championship back to Memphis, uh, you know, we didn't attain that. Um, and so it's easy to kind of be bummed. I think we were all, you know, pretty down, um, you know, after our season ended. But you just try to focus on the positive, how many great things that we were able to accomplish this year, how many, you know, records we set. Um, you know, individual records, team records, um, how many games we won, just how many memories that I think we built um, and made this year uh, for the team, for the franchise, for the city. And so I think uh, overall, it was just an unbelievable year that, you know, again, we, we made so many memories that uh, those will last, last a lifetime. You hear so much this year about this being the second youngest roster in the league, second best record overall, but you've been one of the veterans that have helped grow this team up. I mean, the, the growth started basically when you signed here. How much have you seen uh, sort of that that veteran voice, that veteran leadership, your calm nature, uh, how has that been able to help this team grow up? Um, a lot. Uh, for me, it's from the second I got here, uh, guys allowed me to be a leader. Guys allowed me to use my voice. Uh, they listened to me, uh, and that, that made it easy for me to continue to be a leader. Uh, and it pushed me to, to try to be a better leader. And just the camaraderie that we've had as a unit, um, it's allowed everyone to continue to grow, uh, both individually but and collectively uh, as a group. And so each year we've tried to improve. We try to improve um, you know, in both areas, uh, offensively and defensively, but at the same time, um, we've come closer together. Uh, you know, we've built that bond, that family atmosphere, the family environment, um, and it's second to none. You've always been a guy that's been confident. You've known your value. You know what you bring to a team. As you look forward now, um, Zach Kleiman obviously said that, you know, you're a priority, obviously. He wants to prioritize bringing the continuity back to this team. How important is that for this team to take the next step of growth, regardless of what free agency brings, but just this team growing forward from here? Yeah, uh, I think it's huge. Obviously, you know, talent is um, – you know, what wins games. But on top of that, I feel like the camaraderie we had is the reason why we were so good this year. Um, and you, you can't beat that. You can't beat the chemistry. Um, it allows you to, um, you know, build. It allows you to, to get on one another. It allows, it allows you to be coached um, and put personal feelings aside uh, for the greater good. And that's trying to win a championship, trying to be the best team that you can be. And, um, you know, our chemistry, uh, this is the, the closest team I've ever been a part of. Uh, how close we were um, allowed us to to be a, a great basketball team, and so uh, the chemistry is, uh, I think, the most important the most important you know piece to that. And you, Stephen, uh, Kyle, have all been that sort of veteran voice in in expressing that too. Um, just talk about what that was like this season as we wrap up. It was, it's been great, uh, you know, me, Kay, and Steve-O, um, just being a couple of the older guys on the team. Again, you know, the guys listen to us. They allow us to be leaders. They allow us to use our voice. Um, and so we, we try to do all, all we can as leaders not to disappoint um, and to continue to steer uh, this team in the right direction. And so uh, that's all we try to do. And it's, uh, you know, not looking at it as like, you know, we're the leaders. Um, you need to listen to us or we never mess up or anything like that. We have a team full of leaders, you know, a team full of guys who can hold each other accountable. Um, you know, we just do a little bit more of the talking.